Hey guys, we finally know C9 bot lane. It's gonna be Zven from TSM and Vulcan from Clutch Gaming joining, and that's the new bot lane. Welcome. Yeah, let's talk about both these players and how I think they will play together. So let's start with Zben. Zben from recent history, especially in NA, everyone kind of thinks he sucks. Um, we'll let Doublelift have a word. Oh, heard, dude. Heard this narrative before. Oh my god, dude, Zven is so bad. I mean, he just plays so bad, it's crazy. I, I don't know, like, this guy, if he gets a lead... Okay, here's my here's my feeling against Zven. I'll give, I'll give credit to, like, so many carries. Like, for example, I think, like, Cody Sun and and sneaky and sticks a those three 80 carries in in na if i give them a lead they will do things with it they will like move around they will like you know snowball and like it'll make it hard for me to have a game impact when i die if i if i was to die to to zven if i got 2v2 killed by zven or if i got ganked by the jungler and died i know the game is absolutely the same as before i died but on the actuality He's a really accomplished player. He's a three-time LEC champion. He's gone to Worlds many times and done well. But I do think there were two things always surrounding his success. And it was hard to isolate him as the true reason that his teams were always successful. He always played around strong solo laners like Xpeke, Soaz, Perks, and Expect. And during the time he was successful, he always had Mitty as his duo. And Mitty is kind of known as the kingmaker in Europe. Mitty has played with a lot of AD carries and he's all made them very very successful so yeah there was a lot of question marks regarding how good would Zben be without such strong solo lanes how good would Zben be without Mitty so let's be honest he didn't find the success he thought he would in North America and playing for TSM he wanted to be the very first player to win both Europe and North America yeah he didn't really get any of that he was also very prideful during his time on TSM and from what I heard, as a little bit of an inside info, he was extremely headstrong when he was playing for TSM. It's not like he wasn't working hard though. He was working very hard. He rarely went out and all he did was play the game. And I heard he was a little bit lonely too. TSM still really believed in him after year one. And they thought he could still do well without Mitty and they actually thought it was Mitty kind of holding him back and now they wanted him to kind of play without and show what he was made out of and in year two he played with immense amount of pressure due to kind of his own expectation and expectation from TSM and somewhat of expectation from international and European fans on who they view him as a player and he just did not do very well so now he joins Cloud9 as a free agent if I had to take a guess he would have rather joined the EU team over a North American team. He seems like someone that misses EU a lot. He doesn't seem like someone that really like is enjoying North America or being part of North America in a way where it feels like he's going to be here for a long time. And maybe he didn't get his first option for teams, which would have been joining a top tier team in Europe. And he still wants to be competitive. So that's why he joined C9 and he can definitely be competitive on C9 in North America. I think he's going to be humbled by the off season and his performance in the last two years and he definitely won't be as headstrong and also c9 as an org always always gets the best out of their players so i think we're gonna see a little bit more of neos and a little bit less of Zven. so let's talk about his new duo vulcan and once again i'll let double lift have the first word in yeah vulcan was 100 percent top support i'd say i would say vulcan is squarely the second best support in na after core and then mm -hmm. i'd put i'd put bio like slightly like very close very close third so yeah, those are actually really nice words said about Vulcan from Doublelift. I mean, Doublelift is known for trash talking, but he's also very honest about his thoughts. So I don't think there was any sugarcoating regarding how good Vulcan was. So one thing that's really interesting is this is the first time Jack has paid big money for a player. And as far back as I can remember, even when he gets top tier players, he is known for buying on the cheaper side, like Impact when he bought him from NRG or Rush from TIP. He didn't have to pay a pretty penny for either of them. But for Vulcan, man, just two years ago, he was a scouting grounds player. And with the fourth pick of the North American scouting grounds draft, Clutch Gaming, having acquired the pick from the Golden Guardians, selects Vulcan. And now, today, he sold for 1.5 million in terms of buyout. So one reason why his buyout is extremely high is he's 
probably on a very, very low salary. When a player is on low salary, you can charge extremely high for buyout, but on the vice versa, if a player is on very high salary, you can't charge that much for a buyout. Like a good example would be the Rainover situation to CLG, because Rainover's salary was on the higher end, and even though the contract had to get readjusted, the buyout for Rainover wasn't gonna be very high. Comparatively, for Vulcan, he's a player that's extremely valuable, that's getting very low salary, so his buyout is going to be crazy high and personally for me I always rated Vulcan highly because he had his head on straight and kept improving despite less than ideal situations on clutch gaming in the earlier parts of the year like laning with Piglet definitely wasn't easy on him at all that team was breaking apart everywhere so yeah like massive amounts of credits to Vulcan like in North America a lot of times you're dealt shitty hands and it's what you make out of it and I feel like every time Vulcan was dealt the shitty hand he made the best out of the situation and now he's getting a really good opportunity on Cloud9. He also plays engaged champions really well, something quite rare for North American supports where no more for enchanter or protector supports. His Alistar, Rakan, amazing at world and his team never really gave him a lot of resources due to them being overly focused topside because of Huni. But like I said, him and Cody always did their job well. All around, I love the Vulcan pickup. Yeah, he's been so far above the expectations for what we have from like a rookie North American support. Now, in terms of where I expect them to compete for in the NA LCS bot lane tier list, I think they can fight for second. It's going to be hard to be better than Core JJ and Double due to existing synergies and the skill level, but the other strong bot lanes in North America are very new. To starting their relationship too. Think about Stixe and Smoothie, it's going to be their first year. Kabe and Biofrost, also going to be their first year. Cody plus whoever his new support is, Bang plus whoever his new support is. There's a rumor about Bang going to EG, then it'd be Bang Zazel, but I still don't think that's going to push Bang all the way over Vulcan and Zven. So yeah, we'll have to see. There's going to be a new second best bot lane in town, and hopefully it's going to be Zven and Vulcan. Zven, I hope your second shot in North America with Cloud9 goes way better than TSM. Always respect you as a player and the hard work you put in. And Vulcan, I'm so glad you're finally getting awarded for all the hard work you've been putting in for the last two years and finally getting to start for an absolute top tier team. I'm looking forward to watching how this duo does on the Rift. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. We'll be doing way more off-season content and more regular content once the off-season is over. And one last thing, remember guys, I'm not crazy, I'm just so cool. Bye!